playing a top 5,000 player for game two with this very good and serious deck. Um, but yeah, I've been getting a lot of uh, support recently, so I appreciate that a lot. If you guys are enjoying and you aren't subscribed, hey, maybe consider doing that. And also maybe like, tell a friend, give the video to someone else to watch. Can't hurt, maybe they like it. Maybe you guys can have something to talk about. Um, we can gladiator, hopefully take priority. And then we could Negasonic, kind of the hope. Um, well, that's like worst case scenario, huh? God. Um, do this and this. It gives me a chance to still win middle because we have Death Strike on right. Uh, I mean, the question is do we really want Death Strike to be hitting all their stuff? Uh, that's just a whole another issue, you know? It's 12 power. We tie that. Okay. We lose that, it's fine. Um, yeah, we just aren't pulling death and null, huh? I think death is just like objectively our better pull, but like null would also be good. Really? I was really banking on them playing like Deathlock or something. Uh, yeah, we don't have priority, so you know, super dead. Yeah, we needed to have already pulled Killmonger and to pull Death to have a chance. And like, we just don't have priority, so we can't do anything. Womp womp. Yeah, we're just playing a deck that plays ginormous things that we can't kill easily, and then a deck, that, and then destroy. It's like, okay. Yeah, so I think um, tomorrow I'm gonna try to do a infinite, infinite ticket video, possibly a live stream. If you, there's interest in that, let me know. It, by tomorrow, I mean today, um, when you guys would see it. So, I mean, that's good. That's really good for us. Our death is free. Um, so let me know if there's any interest in that. It would be around 5 p.m. Eastern-ish. So, if you're interested. Um, I think we just do this. Like, Not really a whole lot we can do. They get our Electra. We hit their Quinjet, which is pretty good. Um, we'll do this and this, and then we can Death Strike middle. Yeah, I think they're gonna Electra Shuri's lab, because they have a one, um, A 1-8 that would be at Plate Industries Lab if they play their Electra there. My Electra there. That they're just their kitty bread. Interesting. Uh, they gave us priority though, so those die. Uh, and we're actually in a pretty good position, all things considered. I also just realized we have one way of destroying Bucky. Uh, Death Strike is literally our only card that can destroy our own cards, so. Hindsight, maybe that wasn't the best idea. Um. Well, they didn't fill anything. No, my card. Uh. 
Oh, yeah, no, that makes sense, huh? So we do this, this, twenty-four, uh, that, because this would be twenty-four, twenty-five. This would be eight. So 32, yeah, so we go up four right, we go up uh, like five middle or something. We destroy wherever the Kitty Pride is. Gladiator. I think we win. Unless I did math wrong. No, I didn't. We're chilling. Thirty-three power middle. Okay. Victory. But yeah. Sometimes this deck can win. Specifically when their win condition is a one drop and we have Killmonger in hand. So, you know, that helps. Alright, hopping into game three. Four. Game four. Um, oh man, what if we forge, hope we take priority, and then we Negasonic? Fuck. Well, there's a chance. Okay, we did take priority. And they obviously they don't want to play into the Craven lane. If they're a move deck, I'm assuming they want to play cards outside of the pri out of outside of Craven lane. So that's generally good for us. Um, we'll just play Nova. We don't really have a lot that we want to be playing. I assume that they'll eventually have to pop Negasonic. Okay. Is this like an Elsa deck? And they're just like assuming they can play everything at the end. Okay. Um. The yeah, Bucky isn't a great card for us. We really need any other card. I'm looking at my deck. Literally anything is better than what we have. Ghost Spider. Okay, so that's why I've been holding on to Electra. Was to hopefully get a kill. It is specifically into like Hellas, so that's good. Uh oh, well. Why do that when we can simply not do that? Uh yeah, so we can just do this, get the Nova Pop. And they have priority, so we might also catch like an Iron Fist Human Torch, maybe. They killed their vision? Okay. They have priority. Ugh. So the thing is, is that we can do this, but it doesn't guarantee the win. I guess this guarantees we win because Heimdall's nine. Um, like this would guarantee a win. If they for some reason have a life middle. If they Eliath right, we lose. If they Eliath middle, I think we win. They go up to 18, they go up 9, we go up 10. 
Oh shit, no, they go up 11, go up 10. Okay, yeah, so we would lose 10. If they have a Lyoth, we're fucked. But I don't think they should have a Lyoth, so we're probably not fucked. God. Yeah. I forgot they had uh, 700. It's literally right there. It says 700, and I just. My brain didn't do it. Yeah, I could have just played death middle. We would have won. I probably would have been the safer play, but. Oh, last I'm fucking brain dead. Oh well. Alright, hopping into game five. I want to get a game where I get like a lot of kills, but like no one's playing killable cards. Live from the Daily Bugle. Mystique. That doesn't help. Now Yondu. Uh is this I don't know what this is. What deck runs Sunspot? Nebula. And Mystique. Like Sunspot Nebula sounds like Haivo. But what's the Mystique doing? I know I could have waited on the Electra to get um more power into Null, but we don't have Null in hand, so I'm not going to play around Null in hand. Um, I really don't know what this deck is. Is it Mr. Negative? Like, I don't understand. Cerebro Zero? <laughs> um, yeah, this is clunky, huh? I don't think they have a Shangable card. I'm gonna say that I think this is Mr. Negative and that they don't have a Shangable card. So I'm gonna play Shang out so we can Killmonger to get more benefits. War Machine's weird. Um, there's a chance we take priority here, and if we top Negasonic, we could win. I am Iron Man. Okay. God. Damn it. Uh, it's like infuriating that we literally pulled exactly what I said and then we might still lose because they took priority. Um, the question is... Okay. <laughs> it's like, can they play in all three lanes? The answer is looking like, yeah, they can, so I'll just, you know, not do that. Alright, hopping in to the last one. We actually have a pretty good hand. Probably the best hand we've had the whole team. Uh, what if we Yondu Machine World to give them Yondu to incentivize them to destroy a card of ours? Give us better uh, consistency in draws. Thoughts? Oh, son of a bitch. Please tell me that that was, is not Phoenix Force. We Killmonger. We Killmonger this turn. And then there is a, like what? 20% chance they hit a card they actually want? 40% chance? Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fall right for the trap. Okay. There are four cards. There are six cards destroyed from our opponent. And they have two cards that they want a Phoenix Force. So we're feeling good. We're feeling good. Okay. Oh, is they are they going Nimrod? If they're going Nimrod, we just like win. I mean, we don't just like auto win, auto win, but like. They have priority. Um. What are my destroyed cards? Um, I'm trying to think what our best option is. My thought here is that we, we basically have to play around where they have Venom. If they Venom middle and Deathlock left, we, we lose. No, no, we win with this. But if they do it the other way, we lose with this. So, oh, thank God. Thank God they were not at all thinking about what we ever had, what we could have, and they just played the obvious play line. Because if I overthought it, I would have cried. Victory. It's also triggering that they got like their best um valley of the hand because they had two squirrels and shuri that also could have filled this and they got all of their high power cards out where we didn't get any of our high power cards out we got two squirrels um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this just casual deck highlight if you did please leave a like comment let me know and subscribe to your deck highlights anyway i'll see you in the next one